profitable faith. Faith is a spiritual necessity for every believer. It is the foundation and the continuation of our walk with God. We need faith to access all the wonderful blessings and promises of God which are written in His Word. Of course, whatever we do outside of faith, as the Bible says, is a sin. Therefore, faith is a must-have for every believer. You cannot separate a believer from his or her faith. We are what faith is. If you have no faith, you have no life as a believer. If you have little faith, you have little life as a believer. If you have a lot of faith, you have a lot of life as a believer. You cannot separate a believer from their faith. Therefore, our faith is very important to us and very important to God. However, there is a dimension of faith which many believers have clung to and are still clinging to which tends to make mockery of God. This form of faith is wrong, negative and self-centered. This faith is built on cherry-picking the Word of God, selecting specific scriptures that only promise the blessings of God, treating the Bible as a giant wish list, and sees God as a cosmic Santa Claus. When you open the Word of God, do you read only verses that encourage, comfort, or promise blessings? Are you reluctant to tackle the more difficult passages which prick your heart and conscience? Do you look for verses on what God can do for you rather than what you need to do for Him? When you open the Bible and only look for verses that encourage, comfort or promise blessings to you, you develop a faith called profitable faith, which means you will believe and obey God only if he will do something for you. And that is the faith that you will see these days. If you believe, you will have money. If you believe, you will be rich. There are a lot of people whose faith is built up on profitable faith, where their whole faith is based on what God has done for them. I believe in God because he answered my prayers. I believe in God because I prayed for this new house and He got it for me. You know what this faith is built on? This faith is built on what God does and not who God is. Faith is not just all about what God can offer. The balance of faith will require us to give our whole being to God and obey all his commands even when things go bizarre with us. Job was such a man in scripture whose faith was not just based on the abundance of riches God had blessed him with. Even at his trial, he recognized and acknowledged the faithfulness of God by confessing that he knew that his Redeemer ever lives, whether in good times or bad. The wife of Job wanted him to curse God because she witnessed her husband go through hell on earth. Job's wife had profitable faith. As long everything was going the way she wanted, praise God. But when the storm came and the thunder rode, she told her husband in Job 2 verse 9 to curse God and die. And I believe the theology of Job's wife is prevalent in this day. Job refused to follow the advice of his wife. He refused to lose faith in God. He knew that the ultimate proof of our faith in God is not tested when we have all things to our advantage. Our ability to stay connected with God even in our trials show that we have unswerving faith in Him. 
If our faith is only about the profits we make from God, then our Christian walk is baseless. Many believers would even accuse God of being unfaithful to them because their needs have not been met, whereas they themselves are not meeting the requirements of God. Dare I say it, some of us are even angry with God. Profitable faith is built solely on what God has done and not in who He is. It may benefit us to understand who God is first. He is the CEO of the universe. He is large and in charge. The whole universe revolves around Him. He is the keeper of creation. He oversees every organism, cell and protoplasm. He has everything under His authority. He has more authority and power than anyone you have ever seen or come across. By His words, He created everything that we can see. He said, Let there be, and surely there was. He said, Let there be, and surely there was. He answers to no one. The angels bow down in adoration at Him and proclaim Him holy. He is undefeated, undisputed, unchangeable and can never be undone. The Bible tells us that heaven cannot contain Him. The Bible tells He is the general, the king of the largest and strongest army in the universe. He is the king of heavenly host. Michael the archangel follows his commands and so does countless of other angels. The Bible tells us he has no beginning. The Bible tells us he knows all things. The Bible tells us he is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The devil tried to defeat him and was cast out of heaven. Armies have tried to defeat him and they have all fallen. Every man, every woman who has tried to challenge God has failed and failed miserably. He is holy and divine. He is a consuming fire. He is holy. He is pure. And he never makes a mistake. Now that is a God worth worshipping. Not because of what he does, but simply because it is the only one in the universe who deserves worship, who we can put our faith in and trust. It is built on the benefits we always receive from him. If you built your faith on the successes and achievements God has helped you make, rather than on whom God is, then you have a profitable faith. If you are the type that accuses God when things get bad and testify about Him only when you feel good, you have a profitable faith. There are people who will stop attending church meetings if they are faced with any challenge. The reason they seem to love God is because they still have their needs met. Such people have profitable faith. People who have profitable faith will turn their backs on God if they are tried by Him. And if your faith is built on what God does for you, you have profitable faith. Your faith only stands when it profits, when it suits your agenda. This type of faith is built on cherry-picking the Word of God. In all honesty, we are often guilty when we pick and choose what to read in the Bible. The Word of God does not only contain promises and blessings for us to claim, it also contains instructions, rebukes, and corrections which we must learn from. If you choose to read parts of the Bible that give you great promises, but refuse to heed the corrections and rebukes that the other parts may give, you will not be blessed. Claiming the promises of God's word and leaving its rebukes and instructions unattended to 
is not a way of living a balanced Christian life. What God intends for His Word to do in our lives is to transform us from inside out so that we can reflect the image of His dear Son, Jesus Christ. But when we shy away from the vital portions of the Word of God that can help us, we build counterfeit faith, profitable faith and not true faith in the true and living God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. The complete Word of God, even Satan in wilderness tried to twist the scriptures to his advantage against Jesus. He tried to use profitable faith. I can even go as far as saying profitable faith is satanic. We practice empty religion when we choose the kind of God's Word that we want to hear. Sermons are meant to cut into the deepest recesses of our spirits and souls. When we realize where we have failed, the intention is that we run to Jesus, our High Priest in confession and repentance in order to receive forgiveness. Profitable faith is satanic. The devil is using it to counterfeit the kind of faith that God requires from us. It is unfortunate that many believers have been deceived by the devil into thinking that God is Santa Claus. God is able to open doors. God is able to bless you beyond your wildest imagination. He can move mountains. He is able to do exceedingly and abundantly over all that you ask or think. And He has done this for many people, and He will continue to do this for many more people. He is a Father that loves to give God gifts to His children. However, if your faith is based on what God does for you, we have a problem. If you are selective of the kinds of scripture passages you should read and meditate on, you have a profitable faith. The Bible is a holistic representation of God's demand from the believers. That is why it says in 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 and 17 that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. It is therefore true that the scriptures are for our prophets, but not only in terms of blessings we expect to receive, but also in our ability to accept reproofs, corrections, and instructions. The Bible presents in Hebrews 4 verse 12 that the Word of God is quick and powerful. This means that there is no part of the Word of God that we are supposed to play down on. Our faith should not be built merely on what God has done for us, nor on the prophets we intend to receive from Him. We should learn to obey God and humbly accept the corrections and instructions given in His Word. When we do, we will get blessed. We should not allow the devil to deceive us into accepting that faith is all about receiving from God. When we are committed to obey all that God's Word clearly spells out to us, God will be committed to blessing us on every side.